Who would have thought that just programming would make you a better programmer? And I'm being 100% serious on this. Everyone always thinks like there's a shortcut, like you have to buy more Udemy courses or watch more YouTube crash courses, subscribe to this guru mail, whatever, take a pill, I don't know. Everyone thinks to get better programming to do everything but program. A lot of people always say, oh, you know, I never finished my side project, I always get sidetracked, I always try something new. Don't do that, focus on the side project. When you finish a project from start to finish, that is the best way, that is the craziest, the easiest way to gain experience in your how to get better as an engineer bar. And don't even get me started on all the ideas, all the brilliant ideas people have that they then rush to buy a domain, buy that domain and never do anything with the domain and then you just kind of hoard it and create like a domain graveyard. You know who you are, you know who you are. Until you actually code or program, you're not going to get better. Tying in our favorite principle, T-I-T-S. Before we go into too much detail, can you make sure you click, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever, because it helps. And uh, I appreciate it. One of the biggest reasons why I think side projects are the best is because they force you to think in a different way. They force everyone to become a self-taught developer. Yes, even the people who went to school, got their computer science degree, got this, got that, everyone goes back to being a self-taught developer when they're working on their side projects. The reason for that is because there's going to be a time where you need to execute on something you don't know or do something that you've never done before, which forces you to develop the following skills, which I think are the most pivotal from separating yourself from an average and below average engineer to a stud engineer, an absolute 10x blazingly fast stud muffin of an engineer. And those skills are Googling. What? Yes, Googling is a definite skill that is valid and it's important to have it. It separates a good engineer from a bad engineer because it saves you time. If you know how to efficiently Google, parse the results, it can save you time and you can be more efficient. Secondly, debugging and reading errors. There's plenty of ways an error can be represented or shown in your console, but if you don't know the proper way to read it and debug it, you're just gonna get stuck trying random things, throwing at the wall and seeing what sticks until you solve it. You wanna be efficient, you wanna understand, and you wanna know how to debug errors. And lastly, the skills I think that are most important are resiliency and consistency when it comes to being a good engineer and side projects teach that like no one else. When you decide to create a side project, you first have that idea, that vision of how the app is going to look, how it's going to behave and how it's going to react. And really the challenge is taking that vision, that idea and translating it into code that works as efficiently as you think it should. That is the biggest challenge. It's not really the idea itself. Yeah, the marketing stuff, but it's really how well you translate and how well you kind of make your vision a reality. But what if you don't have any ideas or you're blocked, you're not motivated, work is too hard, all of this. Get out of that rut and stop feeling sorry for yourself. No one's gonna feel sorry for yourself anymore. No one, it's, it's done. You have to do it for yourself. Quote in that famous Shia LaBeouf scene, you know, yesterday you said today, just do it. Just, just do it. it. All right. You, you want to just figure it out. Don't think the idea matters. The idea is 1%. Execution is 99. We need less coaches and more doers. And that's what I think people should do. Create more projects. And if you're blocked, a great way to get inspiration and motivation is open source software, go on GitHub, check out some projects, get involved. If you can't really think of a new idea from scratch, then help another person achieve theirs, contribute to their idea. I just recently open sourced one of my projects, astrostation.me, and it's been great. The feedback I've gotten, how to make it better, the community behind it helping me out, it's been phenomenal. It's really given my motivation a second gear to do this again and to do it even better. So I hope I didn't come off too strong or too harsh here, but you know, don't feel sorry for yourself, right? And don't keep finding excuses of what not to do. Stop finding ways to not execute on your idea. And really, don't finish your idea half-assed. I'm looking at you. I know you have so many folders of these half-assed finished projects. How many Discord bots have you made in last year? Tell me. Seven? Three? Who cares? You want to finish a project start to finish because that is truly how you get the best practice out of it. That is truly how you create and develop yourself on being a phenomenal engineer. 
And also, who knows? Your side project could be the next billion dollar idea. So go do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. But until then, you know what you have to do. Read documentation for 